everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a sewing needle book. I started by drawing this cute little chipmunk. Then I made a design around it on my iPad. Next I cut out the chipmunk and used clear packing tape to attach it to the felt. This keeps small designs in place while you cut them out and gives your felt cleaner edges. Once the body was cut out, I cut out the front arm and leg. I wanted them to stand out a little more and give the chipmunk a slight 3D effect. I cut out his little acorn and I basted everything in place before I started sewing. I just used a basic running stitch with embroidery thread to attach the pieces. For the details on the chipmunk, I used a combination of needle felting and embroidery until I felt like he was complete. Thank you. 
added felt pieces for the design around the chipmunk and sewed them in place. The rest of the design was accomplished with a lot of embroidery. For the felt pieces, I used three different colors of wool felt. I cut them to size and sewed them in place down the center of the spine. For the inside, I cut out smaller pieces of felt with pinking shears to give the pieces a decorative edge. This will be where we store our sewing needles. I sewed the pieces in place and I used these cute autumn themed buttons inside for decorations. Instead of sewing them, I cut off the loop on the backs and glued them to decrease the amount of bulk they added to the book. I repeated these steps for the inside pages and the back pages. Each page will only have decorations on one side because we're going to hide the ugly sides by sewing the pages together. For this, I used a blanket stitch around the edges. And I thought that was it but my inner pages were too wide, so I ended up cutting the side edges and redoing the blanket stitch. And then that was it. I added some sewing pins and needles, and the sewing needle book is complete. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.